Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about Carlos Elena, Lautaro Martinez, Eric Garcia, and we are first going to start with Carlos Elena. So it says here, according to Mundo Deportivo, the headline says a new track clarifies the future of Elena. Carlos Elena is focused on finishing his loan at Betis at a high level and everything indicates that he will return to Barcelona to carry out the preseason and fight for a position in the first team. So one of my biggest questions that I did have throughout this whole season is what are the plans for Carlos Elena? Like, what are we going to do with him next season? Is he going to be at Real Betis or FC Barcelona? And Carlos Elena has been one of the brightest stars that has came out from La Messia in over the past three to four years. And so I really do have high hopes about this player. And if you guys don't know who Carlos Elena is, he is a player that was loaned back in January to Real Betis. And the only reason why Carlos Elena did leave FC Barcelona for a loan is because Carlos Elena was not getting a lot of minutes on under Ernesto Valverde. So Carlos Elena and Barcelona had to come to a conclusion and make a choice for the remainder of this season, which is to leave Barcelona and get more minutes or stay there and hopefully try and fight for his spot. And so apparently Elena did move to Real Betis for a half a season loan. And one of the main reasons why Carlos Elena made that decision is because Vidal was not set to leave in that winter transfer window and Ivan Rakitic was going to stay at FC Barcelona. So there was literally no space for Carlos Elena. But now we with the potential departure of Vidal and Rakitic in this summer, could we finally see Elena set to claim a spot in the FC Barcelona starting 11? Keep in mind that Barcelona have added a new midfielder named Pjanic and we do have another bright player who stepped into the big stage in over the past two to three weeks and his name is Ricky Puj. And so Elena going into the next season with FC Barcelona, he is going to head into the same situation that he did enter back in January. So instead of having Vidal and Rakitic, we are going to have Pjanic and Ricky Puj. But looking at this club as a whole and looking at these group of players as a collective, this is a great thing to have for FC Barcelona because for FC Barcelona to have Carlos Elena, Ricky Puj, Pjanic, De Jong, and Busquets, that midfield as a whole has de-aged and we are bringing fresh new energy in that midfield. And every player here are going to be fighting for a spot and have their own respective reasons. And with that being said, if we're going to have two La Messia players plus De Jong and Busquets and Pjanic roaming around that midfield, I really do believe that Barcelona is going to deliver something very special and I have no problem with Elena trying to find his spot in Barcelona alongside Ricky Puj and Pjanic. And so let me know what type of midfield you guys would like to see next season. Would you like to see Elena, Ricky Puj, De Jong, Busquets, Pjanic and Elena or Ricky Puj, De Jong and Busquets? There's so many different options and I absolutely cannot wait to see that. Moving on to the next topic of the day, we are going to be talking about Lautaro Martinez. And so according to CK Rodriguez, which is one of the most reliable journalists in FC Barcelona, has claimed that Junior Firpo would enter the Lautaro Martinez operation with a value of 41 million euros. They would pay 70 million, but first they need to deposit cash. If the current economic situation did not exist, Lautaro Martinez would have already been signed. And so here's the big problem, right? Is that Inter do not want to have a player in this deal. Barcelona have recently tried to offer Nelson Semedo, but Inter Milan got Hakimi. Now we are seeing Barcelona try to bring in Junior Firpo in this operation, but Inter Milan are looking at a player named Emerson Palmeri, who works very closely with Conte. So seeing these actions from Inter Milan and seeing that they are trying to outsource other players besides bringing in a FC Barcelona player, it is clear that Inter Milan do not want to have any of these FC Barcelona players. But with that being said, I think it's very interesting to hear that Junior Firpo might actually be sold for 41 million euros and that is what makes this report so intriguing is that if that does end up happening and Barcelona ends up pulling that off that will be a great piece of business from President Bartomeu and there has been questions surrounding the media asking why doesn't Arturo Vidal just enter into this operation we know that Conte and Vidal are great friends we know that they do want each other but the main problem that Barcelona does see with adding Vidal in this operation is that Vidal is worth no more than 20 million euros like 20 million euros is the best case scenario and with Vidal only being worth 20 million euros that is not going to make a dent in this operation Barcelona wants to add a player who is worth around more than at least 35 million euros in order to bring that price value down but I want to bring it back into a football being worth 41 million euros like I said before if 
Firpo is sold for 41 million euros, Inter Milan must be in a very desperate spot. Unless Inter did study Junior Firpo for a very long time and they said, you know what, actually Junior Firpo is actually a great player. He's just in the wrong system. Maybe if we can bring him here and put him under a different system, we can excel this player. Because individual talent is not everything, right? We know that if you get an average player and put him under a system that better suits him, you can turn that average player into a elite player. I think that that could be a possibility from Inter Milan and that is actually the only way I can see Inter Milan being baited into buying Junior Firpo for 41 million euros. So if we can sell Firpo for that amount of money, I say we go in for it. I say that Barcelona should really push for that move and if that only leaves us with 70 million euros to pay, I think that that is extremely possible because we only need to sell one player which is Felipe Coutinho. Felipe Coutinho is the man that is considered the key into this Lazaro Martinez operation that is something that we did discuss in the last video so go check it out I did post it about 20 hours ago but with Junior Firpo being valued at 41 million euros Barcelona will have no problem on paying the remaining 70 million and we do have Bartomeu who recently did have an interview about 24 hours ago they did ask him about Lautaro Martinez and what's the current situation looking like and this is what he said we have spoken with Inter Milan for Lautaro but for now it is a no we are going to wait until the end of the season and we will value everything again and so this is basically clarifying that nothing is going to be official within these next 20 to 24 days we probably won't hear anything or any move being completed like for example Coutinho leaving Bayern to the EPL or Lataro Martinez coming to Barcelona or Junior Firpo going to Inter Milan we're not going to hear any of that until at least the end of the season to October 4th that will be the timeline and the time window for Barcelona and Inter Milan and other teams in the EPL to complete all of these moves now moving on to the next topic of the day and we are going to be talking about Eric Garcia so there has been rumors that I do want to address about Barcelona talking to Eric Garcia like they have been negotiating and I do want to address it here in this video because we do have a report coming from Lou Martin stating Barcelona have not spoken to City for Eric Garcia he ends his contract next season Guardiola likes him he is an excellent player and they do want to keep him they are not worried about him he has a high profile and and maybe this presents difficulties for FC Barcelona. And I'm actually surprised that Barcelona has not shown interest in Eric Garcia. Like Barcelona should be able to keep tabs on this player, especially knowing that Eric Garcia was a ex-Barcelona player. We are heading closer and closer to the transfer window. And honestly, it's actually very discouraging to hear that Barcelona has not even knocked on the door or asked about this player. Because we know right now that Piquet is nearing the age of 34 years old and Barcelona Barcelona needs to be aware of that. Barcelona needs to know that their back line is not in their best condition. And so Eric Garcia makes perfect sense for FC Barcelona to be asking for. Keep in mind that if Garcia does state in this summer that he does not want to extend, Man City will sell this player in the summer. They are not going to wait until next summer when his contract does end in 2021 because that means that Garcia will be able to leave for free. But it's baffling, right? It's baffling because Barcelona have made no contact with Eric Garcia like I would like to hear one day that Barcelona have asked for this player and nothing more that'll be it like if Barcelona do show that interest that could potentially have Eric Garcia make a decision as soon as possible and I really want to go further into detail on Barcelona's back line because this back line that Barcelona currently has right now is very worrying because we have Piquet who is aging and we also have Umtiti who can't stay fit and we don't know if Umtiti is going to go back into the player that he used to be and then we also have Arujo who has not really made a big statement in FC Barcelona so far like yes does he have potential to be a great world-class player of course but we can't say that Arujo is going to be one of the greatest center backs for the next 10 to 15 years he's currently not in that place right now so it is a gamble and then we also have Todibo and according to Sique Rodriguez the transfer or departure of Todibo will show surely be made official in a few days. Barcelona does not have money and, and even though Barcelona has recovered something with Arthur's transfer, they will still have to sell other players like Todibo and so Barcelona is not going to have any problem selling Todibo because Todibo is actually one of the most highly demanded players that Barcelona currently do have but with Todibo leaving now that only leaves us with Arujo, Lenglet, Umtiti and Piquet and three of those players 
we actually we actually don't know if they're going to be here in two to three years time and i honestly don't see this backline this same backline that we currently have now go into the next season like something needs to change a new center back needs to be signed and so i highly advise the club to like yes Focus on bringing in Latoro Martinez. Get that player that you guys actually do want to get in this summer. But instead of getting Neymar Jr. right after that and focusing all of your energy on Neymar Jr., that focus and that energy should be on Eric Garcia. Like, forget Neymar Jr. Have Neymar Jr. in the last section of your priority list. We must get a new center back, and that new center back must be Eric Garcia. So let's hope that Bartomeu and his members and Kike Setien do some serious self-reflecting and actually look at the squad and be like, you know what? We actually don't need Neymar Jr. We have Ansu Fati. We have Trincao coming in. Dembele might actually come back. What really needs to be fixed is that back line. And Eric Garcia is that perfect replacement for Gerard Pique. And so that'll be it for today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.